The Detroit Lions defense was phenomenal, right? These last two games, it has been probably the best I've seen in a long time. After the win on Sunday, we talked about Aaron Glenn and was he safe? I think yesterday went a long way to making saying he was, that we wouldn't have to see anyone fired. We wouldn't have to see a scapegoat this year. It's almost like that he heard what we had we had to say. Not only us as the fan base, but the national media as well. The Detroit Lions had one sack after two games, and it was by a linebacker on a busted scramble play. Resulted in what I want to say a giant loss, right? Since that time, we have seven sacks, five sacks for a total of 12 sacks in two games. We have 13 on the season. On top of that, our defensive line on Sunday, which was just 96 hours ago from the game last night, accounted for seven, got another five yesterday. Has the Detroit Lions defensive line turned a corner? Our defensive line against the run, we allowed 27 whole yards yesterday. So we... To this point in the season, over the past two games, we have allowed on the ground less than 75 rushing yards total. I might have to talk about that in a separate video. Has the defense turned a corner? I have been saying, as long as I've been talking about football on this platform, that your, I think Aiden said it, the defensive lineman said, this game is won and lost in the trenches. If you can pressure a quarterback like a Jordan Love, like a Desmond Ritter, you can have a secondary like a Jerry Jacobs. I don't want to come at him today, all right? Had two interceptions. He had two. It was his birthday last week. I'm going to cut him some slack. He, he didn't. I'm, gonna cut him. I'm not going to talk about the negative in Jerry Jacobs, not today. Okay, I'll save that for another time. But the defensive line has stepped up where according to in the chat, we are only behind the Pittsburgh Steelers, right? I think what TJ, how many does he have by himself? So as a matter of fact, let me pull up. I should have tried to do this before. Um, we have, I think it's on NFL. I can find it on NFL.com. The leaders going into game three against the Atlanta Falcons when we had our one sack. Do you know where we were? You, if you watch this show, you do. We were, all right, second to last in sacks. The only team that was behind us was the New York Giants. That was it. New York Giants going into that game, I want to say it was against whoever it was. Uh, whoever they played, Kayvon Thibodeau got a sack, got him on the board. Coming into Atlanta Falcons, one sack. Since that time, plus 12 in the sack column. That is what the cha- why the change in this defense has occurred. And mind you, those sacks came without with zero blitzing. Yes, Robbins, I did see a, I heard an interview, the same LaFleur interview that he was upset, said they did, the Lions didn't blitz until the last play of the first quarter. How crazy is it that this is our team? It's like they heard what we had to say and they turned the corner. I'm trying to see. Let me go to stats here. This is where a producer will come in handy. I am going to go to the defensive side if I can find it. Um, Fumbles, field goals, kickoff, punts, 2023. And of course, they're not letting me find it now. Um, but the Detroit Lions, man, 12, 12, 13 sacks on the season, 12 in the last two games. I don't know what the Washington Commanders got in week three. I have no idea. I don't know what the Dallas Cowboys got. I think Micah Parsons got a sack or two in their week three matchup. So have, has the Detroit Lions defense turned a corner? Has this defensive line turned a quarter? What do y'all think in the comment section? Says I have to see the interview. Well, I just might bring it in, sir. So 
Keep waiting and we'll see. What are y'all saying? Uh, TJ has, okay, TJ has four or six. How many does he have? Lions, bro. <laughs> I see we're going to have to make that a video. Crazy thing I sent you. All right, well, the Lions D-line is stepping up and that's what we needed. So hopefully we've turned a corner. Hopefully we can take some pressure off Aaron Glenn, meaning take our foot off his throat. And he keeps, I, I am, I'm not satisfied with that third quarter though. It seems like he played a little soft, but I love the, you know what? I, I will say this. Our team, there's been one word that we, there's been, well, maybe three words that we hear, we've been hearing a lot of. One, grit. Two, salty. But you know a word that's, that we've been hearing a lot that I've noticed that every the players are saying it, Dan Campbell saying it, Elaine McNeil loves to say it, violence. But not the bad type of violence, the good type of violence. Our team is playing with violence, and that's what those 12 sacks are indicative of. So let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Has the Lions defense turned a corner by way of the defensive line? Let me know.